Hey Brad and Brad, this is Angie from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Um, well, here she is. I'll do a quick walk around for you. I'm gonna have to wait for some help to start her up. Um, but, I mean, this is it. She's pretty much, um, from what I understand, all the body panels are original. Um, the original louvers trunk, apparently. That is the original space saver that you might remember, Jack. You can see it is beautifully kept and restored. Someone took very good care of this car. I assume you were one of those people. Um, and I guess the king himself actually went ahead and autographed it at a car show. There are pictures of that. Pretty good looking there, as you can see. Um, facts that you may not know that I came across as I went through the documentation is that this car is probably one of one. With the TA package, um, the options that are all around the car as far as the louvers um, the color the color they only made three in this color in the automatics um, and something else about it I will actually send you a picture of that but all of those things combined actually only make this car one of three very possibly one of one the interior probably pretty close to what you remember because this is the same interior that this car had when you owned it with the exception of the console, the carpet, and the headliner, probably the floor mats too, this car is more or less a survivor um, as far as the interior goes. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. I cannot wait to drive it. I'm going to go on a drive in a bit, but of course, let's see what's under here. And it's beautiful. This is an amazing car. Let's see. Here we go, the number, uh, excuse me, motor is still matching numbers, as is the rear diff. Um, I mean, almost everything about this car is as it was the day that you sold it, um, including the fenders and the hood. They are the original fenders and hood, which are fiberglass, of course you know. Um, not, a, not a whole lot else, I mean, you could go on forever, but as you can see, it's, it's quite amazing. Um, we're going to do a startup and then we're going to go for a drive. All right, we got Colin behind the wheel. Say hi, Colin. <laughs> Getting ready to give us a nice startup. Let's go for a drive.
came into the shop and boom, look what Jim's got on his lift. So I figured I'd give you a quick rundown. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful. Looks good. I think she's getting an oil change. Skip around the pan here. He said she does have a little bit of an oil leak that he's taking care of, but other than that, looks amazing. All right, the last piece I have for you is documentation. Um, probably wasn't with the car when you had it, but just cool stuff to see. Um, someone at some point hunted down a copy of the window sticker. Uh, really cool stuff in here, actually. The original build sheet, of course, it was actually on the back of the back seat. And during one of the restorations, it made its way out and into plastic. This would be the photos of, it looks like, Richard Petty, Linda Vaughn, and Dave Ray signing the car at a car show. Don't know who two of these people are. I know that guy. Not so sure about the third one, which is this one. But he apparently likes Mopar. <laughs> um, let's see. More copies of the window sticker. There's some pretty neat stuff in here. Um, I believe this was... There we go. Fender tag decoding report that tells us about all of those really cool things that make this car as original as it is. Um, color report known as 3... Let's see. 3, 18, 28. There we go. Numbers 1500 were made. 1,254 were TAs, 1,254 TAs, let's see, information not complete, 70 of them were painted in green, 43 of them had that, let's see, 4 speed transmission, 25 automatics, 3 were which column shift, yours is not column shift, uh, let's see, interior, this is some really cool info, and there's actually one more piece of this, too, that was cool that went with this. Um, let's see, fender tag decode we saw, and let's see, and the other half of the fender tag decoding. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Ah, uh, this is how I found you. So. That would be the man who you sold the car to. And someone made notes. And on the notes, as you can see, your name appeared. And everything else that I have in here, as you can see, a lot of receipts. A lot of receipts. I do have one other thing. Let's see. Someone, I believe this was for sale. All the information from when it was sold at one point talks about all the different things that are original, different things that were replaced, the shocks and decoded mufflers, recurve bumpers. This is a really beautiful restoration. Uh, that's pretty much everything I have for you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it all. Nice blast from the past. If you have any questions, just because you're curious, you're welcome to give me a call or shoot me a message. And if you're ever in Maryland, by all means, come by and let's go for a drive.